You've probably noticed that I've been a bit lacking on YouTube lately. Where have I been? I only uploaded one video in August. This is my first September video and we're almost at the end of the month. And I just haven't been able to stick to my normal two videos a week schedule that I was doing so well until tax time here. And that is one of the key things. It's tax time. There's some personal stuff. But I've got some exciting future plans and I want to share all of that with you today and hopefully teach you a lesson or two, especially for those small business owners out there. So tax time hitting was definitely one of the key reasons why I haven't been able to stick to my upload schedule. I worked hard in June and in May to try and get some videos built up. So I had some good amount of content to come out in July. And then we obviously had the how to maximize your tax return video that went viral, has nearly 180,000 views now. It's brought in alone over 3,000 subscribers to the channel. It was a great hit. But it brought in definitely a lot more comments, a lot more queries, and obviously I had to suddenly shift from dedicating my time to YouTube to dedicating my time towards my business. My business and my clients obviously have to come first. They are what pay my bills, and I want to make sure I'm providing a good level of service. In general, tax time gets busy for me. I get a lot more inquiries. Obviously, people are wanting to get their returns done. And this year has been a combination of things of lots of new individual returns, existing individual clients, and then a lot of my business clients have needed returns done early, whether that's for finance purposes or whether they're just wanting to know what their tax outcome is. I've been putting a lot of my workload into those July, August and September months. In fact, I've worked with and done over 50% of my tax returns already. Actually, it's probably now getting closer to two thirds of the returns done in a two and a half month period. So there is always a big workload in those months and then it does smooth out across the rest of the year. Something I did discover that under a peak workload, my business wasn't holding up how I wanted to and the only way I could fix this was by doing extra hours. So that results in me working late every night or working weekends and that was the only way I was able to continue to provide the same level of service to clients but it was because I didn't have the right systems in place. And sometimes you don't know these things until it happens. So what have I gone and done about that? Well, I've found a new software that's going to hopefully massively increase my ability to know where my workload is at, what needs to be done first, and then also a better way to communicate with clients. So I definitely highly recommend anyone that's in business, look at what software is out there that's going to make your life easier, improve your customer or client experience, but also give you a better overview of where are you currently at and where should your time be dedicated. And then just when this all started to smooth out a little bit, I then have been sick. So I've been sick for about three weeks now. It's been a struggle. And that has definitely impacted my ability to be able to get back into the content. I think that's something, a key reminder, especially if you're a small business owner, is that when you're sick, no one else is probably going to pick up the slack for you. So sometimes you have to just keep working. But it's really important then that you have the systems in place to ensure things are efficient. When things are going well, you want to make sure you're getting ahead. And that's something I didn't do with the YouTube content as well as I probably could have in the first six months of the year, is get ahead, knowing that there's going to be busy times coming up knowing we're heading into winter and people do get sick, what can you put in place to ensure that when these times hit, you've already got a bulk load of content created? Or maybe you've done some work that you could have done you know, right now, but I did it early in the year, so I'm ahead on those things. By getting yourself ahead, by putting systems in place, it definitely helps you smooth out when things get challenging. But what's next? Well, business is going well. I've managed to get on top of this workload. Like I said, I've done such a large amount of client work already that it has really freed up my calendar for the next nine months. And in particular, the next three to six months where I can take on new clients. I can help some of you guys, especially you guys that have small businesses. I'd love to work with you. I've had a few inquiries recently about some exciting small businesses I'm going to be working with that have come from YouTube. So I really appreciate that. And if you are looking to get in touch, make sure you do that through our website links below. I am hopefully going to be back into this YouTube channel two videos a week. That's the plan. We're getting so close to the 10,000 subscribers. We're almost at 9,000. So we've got about 1,000 subscribers to hit in three months. So can it be done? I think yes. It's going to be about 10 or 11 subscribers a day, which is about what we're doing now. But we're obviously going to drop out of tax time. So I am going to need your help. If you're watching this video and you haven't already subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Let's get there and we'll have a celebration at 10,000 subscribers. I've also got another exciting change that I'm working on with the business that will hopefully kick in from the 1st of January. And this will be the biggest change I've ever made to my business. So I'm excited to share that with you. And then I've got some exciting stuff planned coming into next tax time. I know I'm already thinking about next tax time that I think I want to put in place so I can help even more of you. So there is lots of things happening. I do apologize that I haven't been as active as I want to. I appreciate the messages I've got, the comments, 
and the fact that you guys have still been watching the videos. That's what this channel's for. It's to help you, and I can't wait to keep doing that.